I'm going to do this quickly because despite the fact that there were 12 goals in the game, there's really not much to say. As Penguin fans, do you remember what it was like watching the Flyers pound us physically and us beat them and then laugh at them because they acted like clowns? Remember what that was like? I think they're doing that to us now. I know it's out of frustration because as an athlete you get frustrated when you just come to the realization that all the hard work you've done for 82 games is going to be done in four. But let's, uh, let's go over how you play the game of hockey. Make good passes. Get shots. Get those shots on net. The puck will go in sometimes. Those are called goals. When you score more goals than the other team, you win. In order to score more goals than the other team, you need to stop the other team from scoring. You have a defense for that. They stop the other team from coming in on you. But sometimes they get behind the defense. That's where a goaltender comes in. And the goaltender's job is to stop the puck when the defense can't. Or misses an opportunity to do so. The Penguins did absolutely zero of any of that today. Malkin had five or six missed shots. He's the leading scorer in the NHL, and I feel like once he got his 50th goal, he felt satisfied. And I'm not saying he's not trying, because he's getting shots, they're just not getting on goal. And for a guy with 50 goals, how do you not get shots on goal? Crosby's our leader, and he's attacking Giroux and a bunch of other flyers. Why is he attacking people? Why is Chris Letang attacking somebody? Why is Chris Letang mocking the Philadelphia crowd and we're down 3-1. to one. We could slash the Flyers all game long in game four. We're going to lose that game if we do that. I'm not saying we're going to win if we play correctly. At this point, playing correctly only gives you a normal chance of winning because the Flyers haven't deviated from a single thing. They have played the same way the entire series. <laughs> At least in the first two games, the Penguins jumped out to hot starts. This game, they had the opening goal and then were completely outplayed after that. The Flyers didn't take long to get going. I love Mark andre Fleury to death. But he had an atrocious game today. As it's... He played okay in the last game. A lot of people were like, eh, seven goals, maybe one or two were his fault. This time... The first one, obviously, when he knocks it in his own net. Talbot's little dribbler. But he's out of position, diving all over the place. And... I'm not trying to be a flurry basher because I honestly think he's their goaltender for... I mean, he's he's now tied with Barrasso for the most wins in franchise history. You can't say he's a bad goaltender. But he's playing just as bad as every single other person on this team. And he has to be better than everybody else on that team because they're forcing him to be. Brizgolov is a terrible goaltender in the playoffs. He is! He has played awful in this series, but the Penguins don't take advantage of it. That whole first period, he was flinching, he was moving awkwardly, guessing where the puck was, and the Penguins weren't getting it on net. The Flyers were getting it on net. Even if they were soft little shots on net, which Fleury apparently couldn't stop for some reason. Normally, 
Normally, he stops those. This isn't on him. This is on the D. The D is bad enough as it is, but when Latang decides he's going to fight somebody and get thrown out of the game, now we got a, just a atrocious defense. All respect to Brooks Orpik, he got out hit today by the team. He, they hit him more than he hit anybody. There's a pretty good chance we're going to get swept. Which is why the Penguins resorted to violence, I think, at the end of the game, in the third period. And I have my crazy redneck Pittsburgh dad screaming and yelling about, hit him, hit him, punch him in the face. We could take 85 penalty minutes in a game beating them up. And they're going to keep playing and we're not. So if you feel satisfied when that's over, that's fine. But and I, truth be told, part of me had that, just that, mm, that blood lost, you know. Mm. But when it comes down to it, you wouldn't have that feeling of viciously attacking the other team if you played the game correctly. I haven't been this frustrated with the way they've played. The last time I was this upset was when they played the Devils in the conference finals in 2001. When the Devils ran that trap and they beat us 3-0 and 5-0 on our home ice back-to-back. -back. We had like 22 shots total in the two games combined. We couldn't, but with that team, we tried to make adjustments. The Devils were clogging up the neutral zone, so we tried dumping it in. Brodeur would come out to play the puck when we dumped it in, so we tried carrying it, but you can't carry it through a trap, so we we were just outplayed in that series. This series, the Flyers are just as run and gun as we are. But they also have, like, a system that they're running, which is... You can't tell me now that Dan Biles and the system doesn't work. When they don't run it, they lose. They're flying around. They're not dumping it deep. I'm almost sick of saying it. They're not dumping it behind the defense. They're not coming in and hitting the defense. They're trying to carry it. The Flyers chip it behind the defense, and our def oh my god, our defense is so slow at getting back to that puck. They're just kind of lethargically going back to it. It takes five, six, seven, sometimes eight attempts to get it out of our zone. Every player on the ice touches it before it finally gets out. Not from passes, from trying to dig it out. They can't just play it off the wall because it's not working. They can't play it up the middle because that's stupid. They try it sometimes. Leads to goals by the Flyers. The Flyers go back when we do dump it. Make one outlet pass to the winger. It's called support. And then they get it out. I'm still going to do a game for one of these, whether they win or lose. Part of me wants to brag that, ha 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 we have more Stanley Cups than you, Philadelphia, but we're getting outclassed. Outclassed. Completely outclassed. Their fans have been waiting, waiting for this day, and they finally have it. I mean, I know what it feels like to be them for the past couple years. They have to be the favorites in the East if they win this series, but you know what? There is another game. There's another game. There is. And I don't know if the Penguins winning the next game would prolong the series or just delay the inevitable. I don't know. Because they've been so terrible against the Flyers at home that winning this game earns them a trip back home. That's where they want to be. I don't think there is a solution. I can't, you know, if there's any chance to play another game, you can't say that a team is absolutely done. They have to win four of the next four games. 
or they're done. I've seen no indication based on these three games that they know how to do it. It's There's not a whole lot of discussion as to what needs to happen. It's very obvious what needs to happen. I will stick by this. The Penguins are more talented than the Flyers. They're letting this slip through their fingers. They're making... They're handing the Flyers everything they have. They're handing it to them. But the difference between the Flyers and the Penguins is when the Penguins do hand the Flyers something, they capitalize. The defense for the Flyers is handing the Penguins enough. They're missing the net. I'm not making excuses for them. They're professional athletes playing a sport in which the object is to put the puck in the net, meaning they need to hit the net. And again, I can't go without saying this. Props to the Flyers for keeping their heads. And this is what's winning them this series. They keep their heads. They don't change a thing they do. Some people are saying that Laviolette's out coaching Bilesma. Bilesma, Bilesma's coaching has nothing to do with this. Laviolette's might because he is a good coach. I've always liked Laviolette. I thought he was acting a little strange and out of character when uh, that brawl broke out in the regular season with the benches and everything. I thought that was weird of him. Bilesma's not getting out coached. His players are getting outplayed, and his players flat out aren't playing the right way. He could go in that locker room all day long and, and tell them what to do and mix lines up, but they're not going to perform whether he... It doesn't matter what he does. Is, is it because his message is getting lost? No, it's just the players flat out refuse to play the right way. You could put anybody behind that bench, and they're not going to play the correct way. So the only hope they have of winning game four is playing the correct way. And even if they do that, things have to go their way. Because then they're playing in an actual hockey game and not a circus. You're sort of stuck where you are. But in your dreams you can buy expensive cars.